Highway Ag Report for Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. The USDA's National Good to Excellent ratings for corn and soybeans moved lower last week, due in part to some areas of hot and dry weather in parts of the Midwest and Plains, as well as to extensive rain leading to flooding in parts of the eastern Corn Belt. As of this past weekend, 58% of the U.S. corn crop is called good to excellent, 3% less than last week, with 90% of the crop silking compared to the five-year average of 93%, 45% at the dough-making stage compared to 49% on average, and 6% of the crop dented compared to 9% on average. 59% of soybeans are in good to excellent condition, down just 1% with 89% blooming compared to 88% normally in early August, and 61% at the pod setting stage compared to 66% on average. 86% of the 64% of spring wheat is rated good to excellent, a drop of 6% with 9% of that crop harvested compared to the five-year average of 19%. 24% of U.S. pastures and rangelands are in good to excellent condition, 1% below a week ago. Accessible voting is easy in Wyoming. For persons with disabilities, the Help America Vote Act requires polling places to be physically accessible. The Americans with Disabilities Act requires states to provide accommodations for people with disabilities. Service animals are welcome. Call the PNA Voter Hotline at 1-877-249-6167 for additional information. Wyoming voting, where equality means accessibility. U.S. farmland prices increased 12.4% over last year, according to new data from the Department of Agriculture. The USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service released the 2022 land value summary that showed the largest numerical increases since the survey first began in 1997 and the largest percent increase, which was 12 percent since 2006. The annual report provides one of the many indicators of the overall health of the ag economy and illustrates yet another heightened projection cost and barrier to profitability faced by farmers and ranchers. U.S. farm real estate value, a measurement of value of all land and building on farms, averaged $3,800 per acre for 2022, up $420 per acre from 2021. These levels vary significantly throughout the country, with the highest real estate values concentrated in areas of the country with larger volumes of high-value crops as well as areas experience upward pressure due to proximity to urban areas with little remaining developable land. Sir.